Hello and welcome to the Sarasota Film Festival Spotlight Series. Today we're here with... Samuel Curtis. I'm the writer and the director of The Piano, The Ballerina, The Rain. Fantastic. And? and I'm Drew Engel. I'm the cinematographer of the film. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your movie. So this film is it's a love story about a pianist who falls in love with a dancer. And with most love stories, uh, there's a little bit of heartbreak and a little bit of soul searching. Mm -hmm. so we wanted to make a film that could be we want to tell a story that can be told with no dialogue, just the, just the way people look at each other. So much of it dependent on the cinematography, uh, the visual then let's storytelling. Talk about the, the, the visual language that you brought to the film. Um, sure. So the film's a, it's a short. It's about nine minutes. Mm -hmm. It's shot digitally, but it's a black and white, and it's called anamorphic. Um, Where are you going for kind of a film noir? Or? Um, sort of. I mean, we kind of wanted to embrace like the digital side of things. We don't oh, really? want to add okay. grain or do anything to kind of replicate. So we embrace, but it also does have kind of, uh, we're going for a timeless kind of like Beautiful. feel. So, um, so it is a digital film, and we don't deny that, but it, it has a classic composition and style gotcha. to it. Gotcha. Okay, tell me a little bit about why, what drew you to this story? What inspired you that you just had to tell this story? Well, I think one of the most compelling stories to tell is the story of love. I think mm -hmm. love is what makes life worth living. Absolutely. And so we wanted to just tell a, a simple story uh, about two people falling in love, and oh. sometimes when you fall in love with someone, it's sort of hard to let them let them know that. Absolutely. So, so it's about this timid pianist. Uh, oh. we, we were very inspired by uh, a lot of European filmmakers, right? Uh, Andre Tarkovsky, mm -hmm. um, Wow, Wild Strawberries. Mm -hmm. uh, Ing Ingmar Bergman. Mm -hmm. Who who are some of our other inspirations? You'd say. Uh, uh, some still photographers, Henry Brisson. Wow. Um, just a couple other guys out there. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything else of that. Well, visually, like you said, it's all really in the visual storytelling and all that comes across. Absolutely. Now, what were some of the things, did anything occur during the making of this film that was like a pleasant surprise, something you didn't expect that, that just came up? <laughs> I think I got a, I got a good gonna, one. Yeah. yeah? So, uh, yeah. this was all produced by uh, the state of Florida. Okay. And. Um, over at uh, Florida State University, okay, and uh, we, we were allocated three days of production. We were given okay. all the equipment, uh, given a grip truck, uh, given nice. a bunch of students, and we could basically do whatever we wanted. Um, wow. And that's that's always a good thing. And um, on the third day of production, we were driving down the highway to get to Thomasville, Georgia, mm -hmm. and ahead in the distance, we saw a billowing black cloud of smoke. Wow. And, and we uh, pulled up, and our grip truck was burning. The, 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 ca the cab was totally engulfed yeah. in flames. And the news was there. I know it's not funny, but no, wow. it, it, it was, in retrospect, it's absurd. It, it was yeah. a very f a film about surreal surrealism and dreams, and uh, yeah, it was it was quite the experience. We walked. We were in in between the borderline of Tallahassee and Thomasville, so mm -hmm. there, we it was uh, there's no fire department in that area, so we actually watched the grip truck burn to the ground for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. About a million dollars of equipment probably were lost. Uh, this is a pretty pricey we, we, short. So that's why we say the budget was like 1.5 million. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we, 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 we didn't know, we didn't, it wasn't our equipment, it was the state of Florida, so. Yeah. So we don't know much about the politics here, but uh, they lost a little bit of money. Yeah. It wasn't our fault, though. But, it was bad maintenance. But we still filmed, still filmed that same day. <laughs> that's okay. You know, yeah. they, might, they might ask this for the deposition, but, you know, <laughs> hey, yeah. watch it, watch it. Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah. don't yeah. Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, shorts is an, a completely different art form and language than doing long form features. Um, did, did you have a love of shorts? Was this, is, it, is our features your goal? Is this something you wanted for your reel as a showcase piece? Uh, is it a proof of concept perhaps for a longer um, piece? A lot of people make shorts, you know, sometimes it's just that's what's presented to me, that's the opportunity. But, you know, how do you feel about the, the art of doing shorts, you know, and the challenges it presents? Well, um, this was our thesis film, mm -hmm. so uh, we all uh, were required as part of our education to, to make a short film. And uh, we really, I think for us, the, the, the greatest learning experience of it w was working together. You know, really, we hadn't done a project for about three years together wow, th okay. this intensely. Um, and we got our producer, and, and from it, we, we've sort of founded a production company out in Los Angeles. Fantastic. We're called the Concurrent Collective. All right. And we're, uh, 
So right. a lot came out of this. Yeah, yeah, we we just learned to work with each other and learned our aesthetic, learned our style, and mm -hmm. um, yeah. we're yeah. Our next step is is feature films. Um, Great. You probably explain the importance yeah, of feature films. Yeah, tell us what's next. Um, so next is like a sh just like he was going off of he, what he was saying. Um, shorts are important because like uh, I mean any author would write a short story. It's the same kind of style, the same language. So yep. kind of what we are getting at in this film is something we want to explore deeper. So. The next step is features. I think you can reach out to people in a way you can in a longer format that you can in shorts. And I think okay. that this was an opportunity for us to work together and figure out a language that's unique to us. And now it's time, I think, that that could sit a little bit longer and reach some more people. So, so it looks like we're here at the inception of an amazing partnership. And, yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to seeing what you guys produce next. This yeah. is fantastic. Is there anything you want to tell us in summation about you know, <laughs> what, are you, what you hope audiences will take away from this one? Yeah, uh, we just got out of this meeting um, that the SRQ Media Group put on this morning okay. um, that was connecting investors with, right. with filmmakers. And so much of this film and other films we, uh, we'd like to make in the future, um, it's about community. Yes. This film, like I said, was shot in Georgia, but to kind of go on a tangent, um, I really want, as growing up in Sarasota, I really wanted to bring a film here to the festival. and. Um, I, I really believe in Sarasota. It's going to take filmmakers like ourselves. He just came here from Chicago because he believed in this festival. And uh, thank you. Yeah, it's going awesome. to take a thank lot you of. For having me. Yeah. We need a lot more filmmakers to come here, and, and I hope to be um, a, a member of this community who can attract filmmakers from Los Angeles, from Chicago. We have a couple of filmmakers from Korea. I mean, we really there's no reason Sarasota can't be be the next Austin. Can you know, be the next Brooklyn, even. Absolutely, and a lot of people, and we'll just put this out there for the public, a lot of people don't understand the kind of infrastructure that already is here. You know, we have DPs that work on feature films, but they have to fly to Vancouver. They've, they're going up to North Carolina. They're going out to LA to work. There's a lot of text here. There's a lot of existing structure that you'll be able to take advantage of, and people really don't know is already here once we have the auteurs, once we have the right stories, once we have that, you know, the first person on the dance floor, I think we're going to really achieve it. So I hope that's you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we, we, we plan, we really believe in the future of Sarasota. And uh, we just want to keep on making films here. And even if we have to go other places, we still want to, you know, come back here and come back here every year for the festival. This is a great, great festival, one of the best in the country and right by the beach. Yeah. Can't beat that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad he's able to come down all the way from Chicago. We plan to make many more films together. Definitely look out for us. Our, our next film is a feature film. It's called True, A Fool is Love. It's, ah. it's about a folk musician named William Webb who travels the country nice. writing, writing love songs. His heroes are like Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger. Nice. And, uh, you know, wow. maybe maybe we'll get some money from Florida to, 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 to make it happen. That's why we came here. All right, we'll knock on wood for that. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much.